i now that we have installed exam we will go and open its control panel usually it should start automatically but we have not configured it so we need to configure auto start modules apache and mysql we'll do that so whenever we restart the windows the these applications will start okay access denied but still it will save the settings yes that's fine right now we are going to start just click start apache and mysql now you can see mysql has started yes it does now we are going to install wordpress we downloaded it and we extract it in downloads folder there now we are going to copy this right click copy and paste it in the installation folder in c drive exam htdocs htdocs is the folder where we are going to paste our uh, any application it can be wordpress or any other web application let's paste so that will take some time in the meanwhile let's have a look what we are going to do is we are going to bring here on localhost and you can see the folder name here is c drive exam htdocs and this is dashboard this is what is being picked here dashboard if we go up we are going to use wordpress folder so we'll rename this to wordpress okay i believe copying has completed now when you press localhost slash wordpress it will ask you which language would you like to install the wordpress in you can install in any language from all the given languages so your website your admin dashboard back end and front end will all be in this language we are going to go with english continue now what it does it require us to provide database name username password and database host and table prefix if you select let's go it will ask you all these things the default prefix is always wp underscore then the table name we are going to require these things from our php my admin that is mysql server we need database name username password now we are going to create a new database and the new name will be wordpress leave it generic and create now the database has been created we are going to go to privileges and we can add a new user instead of using default user um, tommy host name will be any host or we can select local host so we'll copy this local host there and password we are going to generate it system will automatically generate the password we are going to copy this password and paste it here password is pasted database host is already local host now we need the database name is also wordpress the username here we gave is tommy but we have not created we have to give all the group all privileges there check all all and go once you select go grant administration also and go now this database use username at local has access to uh, alternatively you can use this privilege to provide privileges to this user now we have successfully added the user and the database click submit all right sparky run the installation now our 
installation site name will be my blog username will be admin we are going to use the same password we'll confirm our email and you don't need to discourage this uh, we are already on localhost so hopefully search engines cannot reach us install the wordpress we don't need to update okay now that's all it's as simple as that we have username admin and password this now we are going to go to this is how the wordpress looks like after it is installed this is the back end if you would like to see the front end it looks like this how we can change the looks and how we can change other things we'll check in the next video